Welcome back to the channel everyone. Today what I have for you guys is another GTA 5 online video and this is an interesting one. We have some new player rewards and gifts that are available as part of the latest GTA online update like we get just about every month now but this time around Rockstar's done some pretty interesting stuff which I think you guys will enjoy and maybe actually not appreciate it all depending on the type of player you are. We will be discussing and reviewing all of this and more today so let's get started. If you enjoy this video at any point or if you just find it helpful let me know by dropping a like on it. And if you want to stay up to date with everything GTA Online and Rockstar Games, then please consider hitting that subscribe button with your bell notifications turned on. Let's dive into all of the latest gifts, rewards, and benefits offered in GTA Online. Rockstar states that through February the 7th, players can take advantage of the following rewards with Rockstar's premium subscription plan. GTA Plus members for January and February can claim the new Albany Cavalcade XL that just released this week, which is basically an oversized SUV. Members can get it for free from the Vinewood Car Club or the Southern San Andreas Super Autos in-game website. Additionally, members can also claim the camo livery for the Albany Cavalcade XL from any LS Customs, auto shop or vehicle workshop location. When it comes to performance with this vehicle, there, there's honestly nothing much to write home about. The Cavalcade XL stands out with that V8 engine that we all come to know and love in this game, and you get a stable 4x4 ride with a 4-speed transmission setup. Although it doesn't quite match the older version of the Cavalcade in terms of top speed and acceleration, interestingly enough, but the upgrades here on this vehicle do provide a significant edge. As a full-size SUV, the Cavalcade XL behaves accordingly. You get a large and heavy build which results in noticeable body roll during sharp cornering and it does appear that the SUV's soft suspension also contributes to its sluggish nature on the streets which is going to affect your agility both at high as well as low speeds. However, the sluggishness is also what makes this car easy to handle. You get minimal issues with oversteer or understeer and if you're a newer player to GTA Online or just someone who may need practice getting used to driving in this game a bit more, well it could be beneficial for you to drive this car compared to others. Now the acceleration and the top speed are also modest at about 112 miles an hour, but one thing is for sure here and that's this SUV's hefty mass, which is incredibly advantageous for ramming purposes, so keep that in mind. Members can also enjoy the Vinewood Car Club Garage, which is basically an expansion here that offers space for up to 100 vehicles across five floors in Pillbox Hill. You get this luxurious facility that provides a stylish way to store your vehicles and the main key advantages here are one, you get the 100 vehicle storage. You can also add or remove vehicles from the garage using your interaction menu. Once you've stored vehicles in this garage, you have permanent access to them, but if your GTA Plus subscription expires, you won't be able to store additional vehicles, but the existing ones in that garage will remain accessible. So in essence, you basically just get a really high capacity organized vehicle storage facility, but the ability to add more vehicles or not depends on your active subscription plan, if it's actually active or not. And that's something I think a lot of players either may appreciate here because they get extra storage space for vehicles that they want or of course it's just the fact that it is sort of pay to win in this regard or pay to have extra vehicles because this isn't a garage that's available to everyone you do need to pay for it members also have the opportunity to improve their in-game experience with one special offer here you can enhance the passive income generated by your salvage yard by purchasing the tow truck and wall safe upgrades both of which are now available at a 40 percent discount and this limited time offer allows you to efficiently increase your earnings from the salvage yard while also ensuring a safe storage of your hard-earned proceeds to receive additional boosted capacities compared to what the wall safe usually maxes out at now this is a nice opportunity for members to maximize their benefits here and this offer is valid until the end of the event period purchasing the upgrade isn't necessary if you just want a wall safe to begin with because that does come with your property when you purchase it but the wall safe upgrade does give you a larger safe capacity which allows you not only to hold more money obviously before collecting it but the real advantage is you won't need to check this safe as often and that time spent traveling back and forth from your tow truck business to other businesses can add up over tens or even hundreds of hours of gameplay now also during this event players can accelerate their progress within Los Santos Customs Underground Racing seen by earning double the standard rep points for participating in races offered at the LS Car Meet. This means you can quickly climb the ranks and establish yourself as a nice competitor at the meet. Furthermore, there is another offer for vehicle enthusiasts out there. If you bring an eligible vehicle to the LS Car Meet, you can enjoy a 20% discount on drift tuning upgrades. This discount is going to allow you to fine tune your vehicle for that ultimate drifting experience, which is perfect for those players who have been wanting that in this game. Also for members, 
developers on PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X and S, you can embrace your inner wildlife photographer and earn some additional rewards because as part of the Los Santos Tourism Board's Wildlife Photography Challenge, you can now receive 1.5 times the usual money and RP for capturing images of local fauna in the game. This means you can venture out into the wilderness and snap some shots of that wildlife and enjoy that 50% boost in your in-game currency and experience points just for doing it. And if there's anyone watching who has played the Red Dead Online Naturalist role, well, this is Rockstar's GTA Online take on their unique and rewarding way to explore the virtual ecosystem of GTA. They're gonna fancy up that language right there. It's up to you if you think this is worth it or not. I don't think it really is, but it is included. Also, for those looking to spruce up their vehicles in GTA Online, we have some new paint options available for a limited time. You can visit any LS Customs, Auto Shop, or Vehicle Workshop and claim the eye-catching blue rainbow flip chameleon paint for your eligible vehicle. Additionally, if you want a coordinated look with that, you also have the opportunity to combine it with the off-white pearl chameleon paint with off-white pearl chameleon wheel paints as well. And these options do give you some unique and fresh appearances for your vehicles. They're just cosmetic, but you can spruce up your ride, and they are a fun way to express your style and individuality in the game. Now, in addition to everything we discussed, you also get that additional $500,000 bonus, which is deposited directly into your Maze Bank account upon billing. Alongside this hefty sum, you'll also get access to an array of consistent benefits such as complimentary use of downtown taxi company services, quick travel through the skip to destinations feature, exclusive gun van discounts, free VIP and CEO vehicle requests, and additional shark card value bonuses of 15% when you buy GTA money. And with that said, that's basically everything new with Rockstar's premium subscription service for this month. As always in these videos, I try and give you guys an unbiased and more objective review of what's on offer. I'm not encouraging you to buy it or discouraging you. The rewards offered for GTA Plus members for January and February present a mix of in-game advantages and cosmetic items, but I don't know if they're necessarily worth it this time. This isn't that great of a month. Really, the standout features here are the Albany Cavalcade XL, which when you check out the in-game website and you try and purchase it, it says you can just claim it for free. So that's the standout reward. You get some performance and style right there without spending in-game currency, but of course you're spending real life currency instead. The Vinewood Car Club Garage is definitely, I think the biggest advantage when you're a GTA Plus member nowadays. If you want a 100 extra vehicle storage and you're maxed out on garages and properties, well, you're gonna need the Vinewood Car Club Garage. But unfortunately that does mean that Rockstar is continuing to test the waters with more premium features and basically locking more valuable content behind a paywall and they're probably going to continue to do that in the future in the past we've had boosted chances of finding diamonds in the casino vault which definitely was a significant in-game advantage that was exclusive for members and that raised the question about fairness and access to content you may disagree with me but obviously gta plus isn't going away rockstar has confirmed it's performing much better than expected for their bottom line and so with that in mind i do think that premium members should receive new and exclusive content to actually give it value but also at the same time do something that doesn't take away way content from the rest of the player base. For example, we should have gotten a garage with the Chop Shop update for all players and then an additional garage for those premium members so maybe we can have 200 extra cars or something like that. So in summary, are these benefits worth it? I don't really think so, but you can see we're going in a direction here where we're going to see more GTA Plus content that's really, really good if you're actually taking advantage of it, like the Vinewood Car Club, for example. Bonuses, discounts, not really worth it. Also, the car I wouldn't say is worth buying this month. If you just want the car, go get it in-game, get it for free in terms of just playing playing the game and unlocking it with in-game money instead of, instead of spending real life money to unlock it. But with all that said, we're going to wrap things up right here. Hopefully you all enjoyed the video today. And if you did, hopefully I earned your like on it. And of course, if you are new to my channel and you want to stay up to date with all the best GTA and Rockstar Games content, then please consider hitting that subscribe button so you don't miss out on a single thing we post here on the channel. If you guys want to follow me over on Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram, those are the best places to get connected with me outside of YouTube. And you're more than welcome to ask me any questions on those platforms. You can follow me at Hazardous HDTV and all of my social media links can be found in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you all have a fantastic day and I will see you guys in the next GTA online video tomorrow. Adios amigos.